do students have uh, quick accounts where you can tell where how to do it on their first uh, ever playthrough of the game? And then, of course, because you might probably have some uh, uh, selection if the kids to continue playing yeah. based on them being good enough. Distinguishability and identity is key to all of this working. Uh, but you can't ask a kid that can't read yet or understand, or a kid that doesn't understand virtual identity to create a full account. Um, at the same time, even the kids who can, if you want them to create an account, it doesn't mean that they want to create an account, so they have to want to create an account. In fact, motivation structures, reward structures, consent. Um, and so there are a number of different strategies in play that all, when taken together, constitute our actual strategy. What they're able to do, what can we make them want to do? And then we, then now we have that level of distinguishability of our identity. So we do have account systems. You can create full credential account systems, uh, safe, private, uh, but not that many kids do. And unless we go out of our way to make pieces of media that they can create themselves and then save, when they self-express their own identity through interactives and can save their own user-generated content, then they actually care enough to go do that kind of thing. But until we make something that they understand and care about, it's pretty much a non-starter. But 